a lesbian for a while. <laughs> what? No. Yeah, ha, I can try. Okay, wait, no, time out. Uh, Samantha from Sex in the City tried, and, oh, my best friend Melissa, she needed a girl back in high school. So, and besides, I have had a lot of time to, like, reflect over this past winter break about, you know, life and love. And I had this epiphany, right? Okay, it all happened when I was indulging this bowl of fresh guacamole that I remembered what you had just said to me. How do I know I don't like something until I try it? <laughs> Which is so true because, like, what's the first time I hated guacamole? I thought it was green and gross and disgusting until I tried it. <laughs> so there I was, staring deeper and deeper into this bowl of guacamole, and I realized that this was a sign or a metaphor. Whatever it represents, all the things that I've been missing out on because of my busy lifestyle. I mean, how do I know I don't like something unless I try it? Maybe that same theory goes to dating, you know? How do I know I don't like girls unless I try dating them? Because, I gotta be honest with you, it is like all the guys I've been dating lately, you know, frat guys, grad students, professors, are just all <laughs> things, okay? They're <laughs> issues and they're modest, Bible and head games. And you know, it's just, it just seems to me that women, mm, 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 lesbians, are just so <laughs> much better with the whole commitment thing. It's like, first date, dinner, Second date, you're shacked up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being down with that. I'm thinking, check this out. Um, like, say I have to go with a girl who's like, she doesn't expect me, like, this fashion sense. Um, tell them I just doubled my wardrobe without spending a dollar. And I was thinking that I'm like, think she has the same player for fashion footwear as I do. Um, we would have a shoe collection that would totally rival Karen Bradshaw's. <laughs> Um, obviously, I know there is more to being a lesbian besides that. Yeah. Why, I consulted my BLS Jana. The best lesbian friend. <laughs> anyway, she showed me this series called The L Word for research. I thought that L stood for love. It doesn't. <laughs> um, anyway, that chick or fly fan, she starts like making out with this other girl, and look, put stuff right there, and just state for the record that I have no problems with kissing a girl, because I kissed many girls, all right, at least half my sorority, and I felt many boots, yeah. right? So I had no problem with the upper area of the female body. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, excuse me, like you never got drunk at a keg party and made out with one of your frat brothers? <laughs> no, please don't answer that. I don't want that image. Where was I? Oh, <laughs> that was like so much the problem, the kissing, it was, um, so some things that are escalating that I have another epiphany because they were doing some things that I am not a big fan of doing with a guy as it is. I mean, okay, sure, it's like great fun and dandy as the appetizer every once in a while, but we were talking about the main course. <laughs> Okay, maybe like down the line, like a year, and I'm still single, and then just really jumping me to the ground.